So parenting ain't easy, you know that, and uh, the pandemic sure hasn't helped. Parenting expert and best-selling author of Parenting Your Teen Without Losing Your Cool, Chantel Bisson joins us to talk about uh, how we can navigate through parenting. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on Morning Live. Good morning. It's always great to chat with you. Thanks for having me back. Well, um, parenting, of course, uh, oh, the great mystery. It, it's, it's harder than a Murdoch mystery, I, I, would, I would go so far to say. <laughs> Shout out to your husband, saying, Yannick, who Murdoch works in Hamilton. Yeah, I don't even know if Murdoch could hack this mystery. No way, no way. <laughs> All right, so um, your book was uh, certainly a huge help. Uh, since then, you've launched uh, the 90-Day Journal and Affirmation Cards. Tell us about these. How, how, how can they help? Well, I journal a lot as a mother, and, um, you know, it's been a huge help for me to just get, you know, my frustrations or my my worries and anxieties out on paper. So I thought, you know what, it's a really good accompaniment to go with the books, some place for moms to, you know, let themselves speak freely about what they're going through and the experience that they're having. So I thought, huh, maybe I'll do a journaling, a journal to, to go along with that. And then the affirmation cards are something actually that came from many, many years ago. I used to leave love notes in my girls' lunch boxes when they oh. were going to school. How, how many Especially do you have, by the way? What, and what's the ages now? Well, the the girls are 32. That's our eldest girl who gave us our first grandson. And then oh, our middle girl just turned 31. Thank you. And our youngest is 25. So it's so you're an expert. Time. <laughs> you qualify. I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. But um, yeah, so the, the love notes actually just came from that. And, and also from, you know, the difficult times that kids have been having these past few years and that parents have been having and as kids are adjusting to going back to school in person you know they're learning how to be with their peers and be in group settings again so i thought it was the perfect time to for parents to slip little love notes especially because kids have been with their parents so much right so there's yeah. some anxiety and stress attached to you know leaving again and going out into the world so i just thought that it was the perfect perfect timing for these love notes absolutely and, and the journal can be a love note to yourself as well self-care is a big uh, thing isn't it it's huge. I mean, it's huge. And as mothers, we tend to put ourselves aside a lot and we focus on our children and we focus on our primary relationships and if we have careers as well. And then, you know, we kind of fall back of the line of what's important, how to care for ourselves. So that's really why I thought the next um, organic book that should come out with my parenting books uh, was the journal because it does give you a call back to center and it's a quick journal it's just five minutes in the morning five minutes at night just to get yourself refocused around your own wants your own needs and to just really make self-care a priority because it's the first thing that goes when you're a parent <laughs> absolutely what is the toughest part for parenting do you think I think keeping your mouth shut you know <laughs> and letting <laughs> You know, That's great I mean, advice. Just, Bob, let's call it spade a spade. It's just keeping your mouth shut and just allowing your kids to have their own life experiences and have their opinions, whether or not you agree with them. And I think we're seeing a lot of this in, in life right now where people aren't allowing each other to have their own thoughts and their own opinions and ideas. So I think that if, if we can implement that in our parenting, we can implement that in our relationships out in the world at large. So I think for me, that was always a big thing. And, and not like keeping your, your mouth shut in that you're not parenting, mm -hmm. but in a way that you're not judging and that you're allowing them to have some experiences of their own and to explore the world organically and authentically. Yeah. And even with the crap you get back, you can't take it personally, can you? Well... You can try not to. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> That's why the journal comes in handy. That's right. You can put all that stuff. But no, yeah, I mean, and I talk about this a lot in my Parenting Your Teen books, and especially during these years when kids are teens, there's going to be a lot. Like, they're going to be flexing their muscles and trying to spread their wings and, you know, become their own humans. So there will be a lot more challenges, verbal challenges with your child in this stage. And I do talk about that a great, great deal in my Parenting Your Teen book. It's like, do not take it personally. It is them, not you. Remain calm, lead with love, yeah. and just allow them to allow them to come to understanding of how to be in the world and how to be in relationships. Because how they learn to be in other relationships, they practice on you first, right? right. So they're going to see what they can get away with. They're going to see, you know, how aggressive they can be, how you know opinionated that can they be, and you're you're going to be sort of the you're you're going to be the yeah the punching bag essentially <laughs> and that's the raw truth about parenting 
<laughs> uh, we're going to exactly. link up uh, your socials uh, at uh, chch.com for more great advice. Chantel, thank you so much. Thank Thanks so you. much for joining us. Thank you for having me.